order of operations. So when we want to multiply, divide, add or subtract, we must follow a specific order in which we do things, otherwise what we want to evaluate won't give us the right answer if we don't follow the order. A good way to remember the order is bit mass. Now, what does all this stand for? Well, the B stands for brackets. The I stands for indices. The D stands for division. The M for multiplication. The A for addition and the S for subtraction. Now, we have to remember that they're going to be actually split up into four categories, not six, even though there's six things here. So we're going to do brackets first, then indices, then division and multiplication, then addition and subtraction. So brackets first, indices second, division or multiplication third, and addition or subtraction fourth. Let's have a look at some examples. 4 plus 3 times 2. Let's just write bit mass up here. And here we've got addition and multiplication. So we know from bit mass that multiplication comes before addition, so we need to do that first. So we do the 3 times 2 first, which gives us 6, and then we're going to add 4, which gives us 10. And you'll note that if you did the 3 plus 2 first, that would have been 7, and times it by 2 would have been 14, and we wouldn't have got the same answer. Let's have a look at another one. Let's look at 1 plus 3 squared times 4. Now, we've got an addition, we've got an indice, and we've got a multiplication. Out of all those things, the indice needs to come first. So we know 3 squared, which just means 3 times 3, that gives us 9. We haven't done anything with the rest, so let's just write it. Now we've got addition and multiplication. We know multiplication becomes before addition, so let's do that next. So 9 times 4 is going to give us 36. We haven't added the 1 yet, and we can do that now because it's the only thing left to do, which is going to give us 37. Let's look at this one. 4 times 3 divided by... 6 times 2. And here we've only got multiplication and division. So what do we do first? Because with our bit mass, division and multiplication are together. So if you have either only division and multiplication or addition and subtraction left, you just work from left to right. So 4 times 3 first is going to give us 12, and then we still need to do that. And we just keep working from left to right. So 12 divided by 6 is going to give us 2. We still need to times by 2 in the end, and 2 times 2 is going to be 4. One more. Let's look at this one here. A little bit trickier. So here we've got brackets inside brackets, we've got these brackets inside these big brackets with subtraction, addition, multiplication and powers. Now from bit mass we know that all the brackets need to be done first and if you've got brackets inside brackets we need to do the inside brackets first. So everything on the inside here needs to be done first. 10 minus 2 
is going to give us 8. And we haven't done anything else yet. So we can just write everything else how it is. But we have done the 10 minus 2. Now, out of everything left, brackets still need to come first. So we need to do everything in the brackets first. Now, out of everything to do in the bracket, we've got an, we've got an indice and we've got an addition. And we need to do that indice first. So we're going to have 8 squared, which means 8 times 8, which is 64. And finally, we can do that bracket next. We can do the 64 plus 3, which is going to give us 67. There's nothing left to do in the bracket, so we can get rid of it. And we can do 67 times 6, which is going to give us 402. Thank you.